Hey Brain Blasters, I'm Chacha and I love exploring amazing science with you. If you're new here, don't forget to join the Brain Blast for your family by hitting subscribe. Because today's topic is both fascinating and a little scary. The brain eating amoeba. Let's dive in from a day. A boy dives into a warm lake. The water looks safe, but hiding in it is something almost invisible. Naglira Fowlery, also called the brain eating amoeba. Drinking water with this amoeba doesn't hurt you, but if you if lake water rushes up your nose, that's the amoeba's secret doorway inside your body. From the nose, it crawls along the olfactory nerves. The ones that help you smell sneaking its way into the brain. But your body doesn't just sit back. Immune soldiers like neutrophils and macrophages attack. The amoeba though is tricky. It sheds its coat and escapes. It pushes past the brain protector wall, called it the blood brain barrier. For once inside, it changes into its dangerous form, ready to feed. Here's where it, it gets scary. The, ame the amoeba starts splitting into two, then four, then eight. Soon, there's an army of them feeding on brain cells. Your immune system fights back with even more force but the swelling and inflammation end up hurting the brain too. It's like a battlefield inside your head. As the infection spreads, brain tissues get destroyed. The tiny invader that started in a drop of water now takes over huge areas. That's when symptoms appear. Headaches, fever, stiff, snack, confusion. Doctors try strong medicines, but because the amoeba multiplies so fast, survival is very rare. The good news is extremely rare. Millions of people swim every year and only a handful even get sick. So the brain eating amoeba is real, but rare. Science is still searching for better cures and now you know it's story. Thanks for watching Brain Blast for you. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and even share this video with your friends. So you never miss an awesome Brain Blast. See you next time.